Hello and welcome to Global Farm Simulator Network. I'm your host, Green Acres, and today we're going to talk about something really interesting. Exports. Moving stuff from server to server. Nah, we don't fake it here. We don't fake anything. We do it for real. So, let's get moving. We'll show you the difference between the two different types. Now, we have two different types of servers here. We have a cross-play server, which supports Xbox, PlayStation, Stadia, PC, and then we have PC only. So these are two different types of things. Uh, they both work kind of similar, but there's enough difference that we'll cover them separately, uh, just so that it's easier for you to not have to watch the other one if you can't get there. So, why like caught your mind, uh, Farming Simulator, let's click here, and we'll begin. Hope everyone's doing great today. It's Friday in New England. Uh, it's a crisp 10 below zero this morning up here in the Monadnock Mountains of New Hampshire, um, where we're broadcasting from. So, let's get going. Multiplayer, join game. Now to find us, you put in GFSN. Um, so, as shown. And usually some of our servers, most of the servers will come up. Uh, this is entirely dependent on uh, what the client wants to do. Uh, sometimes it comes up, you don't see them, and if we go back and we come in again, uh, we'll get a completely different list. So it's like playing whack-a-mole, uh, part of the excitement. Up oh, there we go, now we have them all showing. Uh, never fails to amuse. Uh, but pick quick, because when you have one selected and you go to go in, uh, if you don't go in quick enough, it'll auto, it'll, it will revert back to the first one underneath your list. You're like, hey, green, I didn't end up on the right server. What's wrong with that thing? Well, pure giants, folks, and it's been that way since Game Watch. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's on their list. <laughs> we love giants. We won't say anything bad about them, you know. We just kind of nudge them and remind them now and then, you know, to fix these little things. It can't be that much work, can it, guys? <laughs> oh, it's a crisp one out there today. Oh, Ten below, zero when I get up at like seven. And she's warming up. It's already 20 above. March. Spring's here. In Florida, of course, not in New Hampshire. <laughs> but you knew that, right? It gets cold. All right, so uh, we're here. We've arrived at Elm Creek. All right, so I've been trimming up operations here. So uh, to bring you up to speed, let's head over to my sugarcane op here. So as you know, uh, from yesterday's live stream, uh, if you watch that, this is a training video. Um, uh, someone bought this land and I lost this bunker, so I've had to clean out the silo. Um, so while I was at it, um, oh, this is great. Um, I also lost this field over here that was full of sugar cane, which is in auction, and I can't get at it. It's probably wilted by now. It's December. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, this was almost mine, but it went to auction. I was unable to harvest it. Um, and I don't want to bid on it or pursue it because the land here is nice, but it's too small for what I need to do. Um, it doesn't make sense to grow um, and have all this effort. I can just do this somewhere else and ship the product here um, as these fields are kind of small for what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep these. So um, I had my sugarcane harvester here, and I got rid of it uh, the other day. So... Don't let my live stream bleed into my training here. All right. So we're going to do an export today. I'm just giving you a little background, folks. Everyone likes to know the rest of the story, right? So here's my cane. I've already run two loads up there. This is the balance of it. And we're going to go do an export. Global Farm Simulator Network. Join today. Play tonight. It's that easy. Bring your friends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, green, step on it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy, a train can ruin your day. Don't want to get in its way, do you? So they're going to the export center. Um, now, these are the same on all of our servers. So when you've been to one of our servers, you've been to all of them. Uh, they all have common facilities like rental centers, um, auction lots, uh, export centers. Uh, you see one, you see them all. Better slow down, stop talking. All right, so here we are. And there's the export center, import center. It's a complex. And uh, there's We Say So. 
So those are for We Say So factory contracts. We're on Elm Creek. A lot of creeks. <laughs> All right, so uh, in order to export, we just physically drop the product off at the export center. And if we hop out and look, you can see right here. So We Say So export center, just drop off here. Please don't block. I'm not blocking, come on. Cut me some slack, it's early, it's Friday. Hope everyone's set up for a good weekend. Let's come through here. So I've already been through here twice. I want to bore you with the details. And we're going to finish off with this. Oh my. Hey, green, it's not dumping. This truck's broke. No, it's not, it's called manual attach. And you know, it didn't work before when you got in and they looked hooked up. So now I guess Giants changed their code a little bit so that it just disconnects them. And when you get in, um, you know, here, now you know it's not going to dump because there's no dang hoses hooked up. So uh, it's Z and hold it down. If it's a quick tap, uh, it'll connect to PTO, but that's how you do the hoses. Now once I've done that, oh look, now I can dump. So we're going to dump away here. Uh, it's a sliding floor. Uh, y selects if you look down here, you see sliding floor. Uh, U selects back or the grain door. So if you wanted to fill up, like, say, a cedar or something, you know, you could do it that way, too. It's slow but painful, but, uh, yeah, you could do it. So we're going to go with the uh, back, and we're going to set this guy off. So we're going to start dumping this. Now, on the PC servers, the export centers are completely self-contained. So if you look over in the distance, you'll see the cell point right there. All right, so we finished dropping that in. So I'm going to pull up here. Uh, we'll pull it around here and we'll just stop for a second. I want to block the road while we do the paperwork. Papers, papers, papers. Can't... Uh, can't tell the players without a scorecard, now can you? Let's go see what we dropped here to get the final numbers, and we'll put it on the export forms. All right, we have got 167,684 liters of cane. That's the balance of what was in our silos before we handed it over. We dumped some in the factories, and uh, the rest is going to... We're going to send this to Wild West, where we have a refinery where we can use this cane to produce uh, liquid propane gas. So, that'll be a blast. <laughs> so let's export this. 167,684. So we have to go to the website. And here we are. Go to Global. Hello, Global. And I think we're going to do this as... Uh, well, actually, I have to do it as me, since it's my stuff. I was going to do it as the butler. That way I could say the butler did it. Because this costs real money to ship stuff. But it's my stuff. So, you know, it's uh, I got to pay. <laughs> just, like the, just like you guys do. All right. So this is real simple. We go to exports. And we say, hey, I can do export sales. So I could sell my crop here if I wanted to. And I could say, oh, I'm here. And, you know, I could just sell normally and get paid for it. You know, uh, as soon as someone dumps it. You don't get paid instantly here. Uh, it's important to know at the export center. Um, also, um, if your account gets smiley eyes, these guys, when you level up, anything you sell at the export center during the four days that these are lit up, um, the price doesn't drop for you. Um, so remember that if, you, if you're saving up crop or you got a whole bunch of big crops, um, you can clean up if you're close to leveling up and that hits and you're selling to these guys um, and they usually have a... You know, it's a decent price, so uh, the price won't drop for you here, um, no matter how many transactions you do during that period of that product. So that's good to know. All right, so we've got 167,684 to, to ship. Let's get back to that. All right, so to do this, I'm just going to bring this up. And uh, here, we'll make it a little bit longer here so I can see that. There we go. And we're looking good. We're styling here on Friday morning in New Hampshire in the Monadnock Mountains on a crisp March day. It's March 4th, 9, 10 a.m., and we're doing an export on the Global Farm Simulator Network. Join today, play tonight. 500K for new farmers, just that easy. 
you know, and uh, that's your initial grant. And uh, go west, young man. Go wherever you want. Uh, we've got a giant uh, connected network of servers that uh, are real time. So here we go. We're going to go to uh, exports. And we're going to say export to server. Get the show on the road. Um, it says select the exporting server. Um, now, that would be Elm Creek because this is where we are right now. So we're going to click go. And uh, here you can see the picture of the export server. And these are the things that they accept for export. So we're going to say, hey, I got some, I got some cane here. There's no prices now because they're not buying it from us. We're just moving this to another server. Okay, so let's talk about that. Um, moving to another server. Um, there's a fee. It's $7,000, which just happens to be the amount uh, that it has to pay someone to do the contracts. Uh, these are bulk contracts, and they're good for up to, um, I believe it's 200,000 units that you can send, and it's $7,000. Um, and you can only send one type on that export. So just things to know if you're shipping it to another server. Make it worth your while. Now, I brought this here in three loads. I don't have to do all of these individually. If it's uh, going to the export center, uh, there's a misnomer that people think that, oh, if I'm dropping there, I have to, you know, get the price right then. Well, that's true for uh, NPC sell points. But when you're exporting to the export center, if I've got 200K to sell and I've got to bring it in three or four trailer loads, well, I bring the trailer loads one, two, three, four, um, and then I execute the sell on it. That way the price doesn't go down four times trying to get rid of, get rid of your crop. Uh, but that only applies with the export center. Okay, anywhere else, if you dump, well, you know, you got to do it right then to get the price because someone could come in between you and, you know, whack that price down even more. Uh, it's, a, it's an open market system here, and things can happen in real time. Uh, but the export center and exporting, you're allowed to dump your whole crop and then sell it as a unit at once. Um, now, if you're harvesting the field, you can't haul it directly here to the export center. It has to go to a silo first. Uh, or be held somewhere and then delivered here uh, when it's ready for sale. Um, so we're not your silo. Don't think you can store stuff here until you're ready to sell it because you can't. Um, if there's something in here and it goes a day and there's no order for it to move, um, it's going to get confiscated and you're going to lose it. Just that simple. All right, so we're exporting here. We got 167,684. So I'm going to uh, key that in. So uh, it's, whole, it's whole numbers, so it's 167K is what we're sending over. Uh, there's 684, so I could round that up to 168, um, and, uh, you know, that would work, or I could, uh, you know, key in the decimal point, right? Uh, it's 167 point, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that 6, and we're shipping that off to, uh, oh, where are you sending it to, laddie? That's a good thing. Before you go and click that export button, you don't want to ship it back to this server where you're, <laughs> where you're sending it from. So we have to pick the destination. Be sure you do that before you click or your money's gone. All right, so uh, let's see. We are shipping this off to Wild West. We have a refinery there, and we're going to use this to make LPG gas. Um, we got a bunch of canola there and other things, too. So it's the only place we have to process it. We could process it here at the sugar plants, uh, but they're done plumb, you know, uh, pretty much full for the most part. So we're going to go ahead and click export. Poof, and it's gone. That's as simple as it is to do an export, folks. Um, so we can come down here and we can look and we can see, ah, a Logistica export contract has been created on server two, which is where we are at 911. Uh, whoop. 04 a.m. So uh, let's go take a peek. If we go up to contracts, uh, we can now go to available. And um, you see this red one? This is a logistica. And here it is. It says pick up 167.6 of cane and dump at the export silo to complete this logistica contract. Now, it's a good time to talk about that because only some people can see these contracts. Um, if you're a donator, then you can see these contracts and you can do them. Okay, so um, if you're in the farm account here, which we all are, um, you no longer have to leave or do anything special. Um, all you have to do, you don't have to join the Logistica account or any of that. Just stay right where you are. And um, these are secure contracts. So um, when you take these Logistica contracts, um, you're expected to verify the amount. And if it's not there, um, don't do the contract. I mean, it's just that simple. Cancel it. Um, give it back. Uh, because... 
Farmers get paid based on what's here. So if someone submits something and it's not here and you have the authority to see and do these contracts, then you're bound to do the right thing and, you know, not do anything fraudulent with them. Uh, your job is to verify it and dump it or import it and dump it. And you get paid a hefty sum of money for that, for that task. Now, often, uh, if you're the exporter and you, you, you know, you've made any type of donation, you have these authorities. You have the authority to deliver equipment, uh, yours and other people's, and um, you know, take those jobs and earn money. And also, you have the uh, permanent building permit. Um, so it's no different than being the farm manager in game, uh, except you can't delete stuff, uh, anything uh, in buildings and stuff like that. Um, you know, those are special auths that uh, players don't need. All right. So... Um, it's a really simple task then to, if you're running this, to actually do the contract yourself and export it. So you would be paid the, uh, the $3,500. Um, now, how does this charge? Well, it's $7,000 for the round trip. So what happens is you pay here, the guy gets rid of it, and then poof, another order appears on the ser server where you want to import it. And someone else gets paid $3,500 to do that task. So that comes out of your account. And don't look for a ledger entry because uh, the receipt printer is broken. Those cheap guys over at the export center, they won't even buy an inkjet cartridge so that you get a receipt. But trust me, you're out of seven grand. But you can get it back if you do the contract yourself. Uh, and you can see it or someone else will do it and, you know, they, they collect the money. But you're funding it. Okay, so um, moving along. So that's all there is to it. So now, if I can see that contract, and I can, um, then I can take that. Um, now, some other player wouldn't even know that that exists because it won't show up for him if he's not authorized. Um, so that's one of the perks of, of donating, uh, is you get to see those and execute them. And now, if that were a sale, it looks just like that, except that, uh, you know, you'd get paid. So, you know, you could verify your own crop and actually, you know, get paid from that without having to wait. So that's a useful thing, too. All right, so um, we've, we're going to go take that contract because it's here, and we're going to do an export, and we're going to another server with it. So uh, been yapping long enough. Let's accept it, and we'll show you how it's done. So here it is. It says Export Center. Pick up a quantity of 167.6 of sugarcane and dump at the export site. What could complete this logistica contract? 3500 bucks. And uh, sure, I can use the money. And it's coming out of one pocket going into the other. So I'm going to hop over the fence here. I should have made those fences shorter. Oh, boy, I ain't going to get around that way. I'm too fat. You know, I knew I shouldn't have had that cheesecake at Christmas. Oh, boy, I can't get through there either. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, oh, come on. What if I try sideways? Will that work? Oh, almost, but don't want to get stuck. All right, so we're jogging. And we'll speed that up by hitting the B button and the V button to slow down. Now, I could have just hopped into the cab intelligently, but it's more comedic doing the Three Stooges routine. So, hope you enjoyed. All right, so now I'm ready to do this logistica contract. So, 167, so fill her up. Let's hit uh, R and get the shoe on the road. Uh, what am I taking? Hey, someone's got soybeans in here, but uh, that must have been excess. Oh boy, now we'll lose that. All right, so sugar cane, there she be. So it's really no hassle. The whole load is destined to go, so we don't have to try and stop it. We used to have a thing called fill level limiter. Um, to, it was great. It was useful. It was a little scripting mod, but we haven't found it yet for this and uh, I don't think the authors produced anything for three years but hey you modders if you're watching we need to be able to stop when we're filling if we're delivering to factories you know we run an open commerce system here and we deliver to factories and it's not always a truckload you know they might order like 3,000 how am I going to do that if my truck holds 60 and I can't stop it with the R key so help us out if you can if you see this and you're a developer hey it's two seconds on a Lewis script and you got the Giants editor? Help us out, would you please? Oh, I hate this curve. This is a bad way to go into this. All right, so here we are. So all we have to do is just simply dump it. Now, on a crossplay server, you actually have to open the fence and go outside and sell it at the nearest sell point. That's the difference between the two. They're both done exactly the same way otherwise. All right, so we've gotten rid of that. 
I don't like driving around this backwards way. I don't know who left it that way, but I'm gonna fix it. Oh, these things turn slow. Oh, no, no, don't scratch it. The boss will take it out of my check. Not to mention that driving through one of these silos, if it's full of grain, could be a bad life choice. <laughs> Let's just get that out. Oh, man. I gotta bring down my wheel. It'd be a lot easier than trying to steal with the keyboard. Why punish myself? Well, it's easy. I like to use the keyboard, and that's hard, reaching over the steering wheel. <laughs> so I'll struggle this way. It works. All right, we're taking the second load of this export. Now imagine you have a factory on another server. You can grow and, you know, you can buy and you can move stuff along. So if a factory is paying top dollar for things, and they usually are, um, because they need it. You know, they don't want you selling it to an NPC. They're like, please sell it to us so they pay more. If they don't, they don't get the goods. It's that simple. But if you got a factory somewhere else or you want to move this around, it's easy. In our multi-server system, it's always summer somewhere. So grab your tanning lotion and head to one of our servers. All you got to do is just look on our list and see where it's summer. So if we go home and we scroll down here, huh? Let's see. It's spring over here on the co-op. It's summer here. Grab your tanning butter. It's the second month of summer. Uh, August is coming up next month on Hastings. Uh, and we have No Man's Land. It's uh, late spring. Well, it's the same as the co-op. Those need to be separated since they're both uh, cross-play servers. Uh, Wild West, it's really early spring, and uh, we're into summer over here. Yeah, some of these guys got to be pulled apart, but... Ah, you can't do that once they all have live animals and players on them. We run a clock 24-7. So, we don't play with time. We sleep never. Servers are up 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 364 days a year. Or is it 5? Is it a leap year? You be the judge. Alright, we got the rest of this cane. We're going to pocket 3500 bucks. Unfortunately, since uh, I'm the one doing the export, it comes out of one pocket and goes into the other. So essentially, if I do the work, it's free for me to export this from one server to another. How's that? So my balance won't change. All right, we've got it all. Final load. On a PC, server to server. Export. See how the big boys do it here. Global Farm Simulator Network. Join today, play tonight. We're the new kids on the block with our disruptive technologies of doing things like real life. How annoying to those corporate types who only want your donations. They think you should buy your way to the top. Donate your way. You can afford it, right? Nope. Get it here with hard work. You know, you can change your existence many times over in our network. Don't like what you're doing? Sell it off. Go somewhere else. Do something different. The choices are endless. Used to be you'd play this game for like 10 seconds and that would be the end of it. And, you know, you'd do your one crop. But here, it's always summer somewhere. So grab your tanning butter and hop over to our network and join up. We're not a member. Sign up. We're not pay to win. We're not pay to play. We're a community. All that's missing is you. All right, so, hey, we finished that. Let's go, uh, let's go do this contract. Let's just show you. Let's look at our money now that it's uh, going to come out and go right back in. We're at 239 132 Yeah, we're poppers. We also picked up a million dollars worth of debt because we bought a coal mine. If you can believe that. Uh, over on Ricky. <laughs> it's a long story. We'll get to that in our live stream. But this is a training video. So well, let's get back to it. All right. So now to, to move this to the next step, we go back to uh, contracts. I go to my contracts. And here's this one for the export. And I'm going to say, hey, I did that. Um, 
Let's see, I dumped it. So in essence, what's happening here is when you export, we're doing a Star Trek, you know, transport thing. We destroy it here, um, and then we uh, recreate it at its destination. So it's really smooth. Watch how it goes. We're going to click complete. Poof, and it's gone. And we come back home, and I still got my money. Um, actually, let me go to accounting and look at that ledger. Okay, so... Um, it's right here. Um, I got paid for doing the contract, uh, the proceeds for doing that export. So I got my 3500 bucks. You're like, but, but Green, you said it would go down. Well, don't worry, it will. <laughs> it will never forget to charge you. All right, so we've done that. Um, we're done on this server. Uh, I'm going to bring the truck back home before I forget. Heaven forbid. Don't need to be losing my truck. Da, 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 da. Oh, watch these in-game drivers. If they can cut you off, they will. And scatter your stuff all over that street, child. Let me tell you. If you have a choice, be sure to fasten your loads. You're carrying pallets. Unless you like playing 52 pickup. I'll bet you miss that, don't you? All right. So we're just returning the vehicle we've exported. So those goods are gone from this server. You're like, Green, where'd they go? How do I know they're going to get where they're going? Well, you're going to have to trust me. Let's put this back in the shop. Close the door. Jesus, I left both doors open. You know what the heating bill is going to be for this place? Holy bejesus. Probably $10 million. It's December and it's going to be snowing here. So let's just back this truck up and get it put back. Uh, we're waiting for the new auto loader to come out today. Since they broke it with the, with the fix, but that's okay. These trucks sound awesome. So we'll probably be dumping this jalopy and buying something classy if we have any money. Yes, we'll probably go further in debt, but that's the live stream. Tune in if you like comedy and people who can't make up their minds and bad farmers. I got stuff there on the ground. All right, so we are done on this server. So you're like, huh, Green, what happened? Well, let's go look. If we come here, and we come back home, when I completed that contract, let's see. Oh, look, Logistica. Uh, it says I completed my last one. What, what no tip? A oh, cheap guy. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> Thank God it didn't tip and come out of my pocket. What the hell am I talking about? All right, so Logistica is here. And uh, here, look, there's your import contract created on Server 10. Now, you don't have to worry about the funding of these in and out of the farm manager account because, you know, your wallet isn't here. Yours is online. So we got to hot foot it out of this server and go import it to where it's going to. Daddy needs money, and he needs it over on Wild West. Paid too much for his land, and then the price went down. <laughs> oh, I lost my shirt. My God, I lost some money over there, didn't I? Uh, I hear you, players. You know, But hey, an acre is an acre is an acre, no matter where you buy it in our system now. So, that's the good side. You're free to move about. All right, so we're heading to Wild West by Caso. And here we go. We're going to import our crop that we just grew uh, over on Elm Creek. Yep, tastes like Pruitt grew it, huh? A lot of times you go to the smaller servers, you can get cheaper labor and stuff, but that's not the case anymore because, uh, you know, it's uh, it's all equal now. Land is land. So if you don't like it here, you can go there, and you're not going to pay any difference for it. All the issues with the maps, with the developers, uh, you know, keying in the, the wrong amounts, or Johnny can't do math. <laughs> Uh, it's all been corrected because we don't care what they put in. We calculate based off acreage and our value of an acre. Yeah, that's how we calculate our land prices and lease prices and auction prices and buy it now prices and all that stuff. It's done by Hal, our computer. All right, so we're almost in here. And we'll be concluding this instructional video and importing. Sorry it's taken so long. Green likes to yap too much. All right, so here we are. We're coming back. Ooh, and it is early in the morning. 
and we are on Wild West. So, let's skip to it and get to the import center. And to do that, uh, let's see, we're going to go back to the website and we're going to go look for contracts again. We're going to say contracts, what's available? Anything here? Now, when you're looking at contracts, they're all by server. So this is Elm Creek Co-op at the top. Then we end up at Hastings and No Man's Land. And, oh, hey, here's the import center. It says purchase quantity of 168 and uh, dump at the appropriate import silo. It looks like they rounded it on us, didn't it? Uh, to complete this logistica contract. So we're going to accept that here and... Uh, well, it says here, purchase 168 and dumb. So once again, we don't have to worry about the money. We just have to go find the We Say So facility, right? So see these orange trucks? Those are always logistica. Uh, so if we come down here and look once again to import, we're staying in the farm manager account. No need to go out of the account whatsoever. And the yellow account is logistica. Um, so that's the company that does the import. Um, and what we're going to do is just hop into, into their vehicle at the uh, export center. So let's, he let's head over that way. That's typically these guys, these yellow ones. So hop into one. Where are we? Oh, let's see. We are... Hey, did these even work on this server? <laughs> All right, so here we are. We are at... Uh... Oh, boy. Yeah, this looks good. Let's start the engine. We're at the import center. Yellow things are logistica. So the import center is a secure facility. And you drive around in a loop here. If you've never done an import, uh, well, here's your chance to see. It's part of this export contract. And uh, we're going to start out here. So I'm going to open that. Oh, I can't open that if I don't connect these hoses. So we're going to disconnect. Going to reconnect. Come in and hit N. And that's not opening that cover. Uh-oh. Is this a broken tractor? You know, I can't fill that thing if the dad burn cover won't open. Um, F1, if you don't know what to do and how to open something, oh, it's Z to open the cover. See? I thought it was N. So, if you don't know, folks, just hit that key. Just tap it. So we're importing sugarcane. Why? This Green Acres needs it for his refinery. We'll show you how that works. Uh-oh. Going to drive green. Come on. You can make this silo. It's not that difficult. All right, so get that under there. This truck shifts slower than death. All right, so we just buy what we need here. We don't have to worry about the money. Remember, that's in Logistica, and that's all handled behind the scenes for you. Here, we're going to get this cane. And we're going to try to... Uh, so we know we got two whole loads. Well, I don't know. This thing holds more than the other one. Let's see what we got here. We're trying to get to 168. So there's 60. So it's going to be a couple of these to get to 120. Let's hope this guy dumps here. This may be... Uh, some trailers work on some servers and other ones they don't. And it's really hard to say. I don't believe anyone's ever done an import here yet. So the server's brand new. So you get to see it here. Oh, there we are. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It works fine. Nice trailer, too. Oh, boy. Green, you went right past it. You're going to have to tear up that CDL license you got. Well, I don't have one. You mean, you mean you're driving without a CDL? Well, yeah, we don't require that stuff here. That's for kids. Uh-oh. Is that coming out? Yeah. So this is it. So you can see that this is done inside the secure area. And the pickup for that is here. So when you come to the silo, you'll just simply come uh, right here to pick up your product on the other side of the fence, see? So you just drive through and that's the import center. It's just that easy, folks. And then, uh, you know, when you get here, you'll have to rent a vehicle or you'll have to contract a trucking company uh, to pick it up for you and move it that final mile. Um, we say so vehicles parked over there for we say so contracts only. Um, you know, and uh, it's just that easy. There's a rental center right up the road, and you can rent a truck. And, you know, or if you own a truck like I do, I'll just come pick that up. And, yeah, we'll show you that, too. And we'll put it in our facility. But today, we're just covering how to do it. 
All right, so we'll finish loading her up. And this is an import contract. Sending goods from one server to another. It's like Scotty beam me up. Now imagine if they do that with you, they destroy you and then recreate you from your tweets and your memories. That's what they have planned for you folks. Your life in the afterworld. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, I cut it too tight. I, oh, don't get it stuck, Green. Jesus. Back out of there and give yourself more room. Always oh, sway low. Oh, Green. I think I used to drive one in real life, too. I think it was easier because I didn't have this crazy top-down view that lets me not get lined up like I should. So this looks like the way to go. No, and I'm paying attention now. We're going to get this right. You know, because I can't edit this out. It just wouldn't be funny if I did. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no, that's coming out of my check. I hope I didn't scratch that fender. All right, so this time... Maybe if I give it gas and I scrape, I'll make it through. Holy crap! Oh boy, I did. I went right out the other side. All right, so here we are. Let's get that in there. So it's a really simple process, folks. Exporting from one and importing to another. Now, on a cross-play server, instead of, you know, dumping it inside the facility, you're going to have to open the gates and drive it to the nearest cell point. And that's the only difference between, you know, living on a cross-play server and living on a PC-based server. You can function on all of them. All right, so we're almost there. Moving this 168K of goods from one server to another. My factory's here and grew it, grew it down on Elm Creek, so... And don't forget, you don't have to do these. Other players do these, you know, or if you want to and you're authorized, you can do it. It's just that easy. No experience required. Just watch the video and do as I do. Not as I say. <laughs> and don't forget to read the rules, folks. Nobody knows less about them than me. I'm not an admin in the game. I'm just a developer here. So, they said, Green, make some videos. Okay. And they got to be such a hit because they're pure comedy. <laughs> That's okay, folks. Laugh all you want. Oh, look at that. Global Farm Simulator is a community. We're not a nasty for-profit company. We're not a greedy individual looking to shake you down. <laughs> We're just providing the type of place that we wished existed and couldn't find. Nope. So we wrote it. You're in it. Join today. Play tonight. No bowl. No waiting. Well, as long as there's room. If we grow too quick, obviously, uh, then there might be some waiting. <laughs> but uh, don't worry. We can spawn new servers. We can do this endlessly. And uh, it's run by you, the players. We're a community. Best of all. That's why the rules make sense here. Because they're not done to hold you back or keep you from advancing or make it so you can't earn money. Hell no. Not what we're about. All right, we're on that final load here. So we're waiting for this bed to drop. And uh, let's run over and look. We sure have been yapping. B to speed up. V to slow down on these PC servers. So uh, I like the sound that makes when it closes. Uh, we can't see what's in his server here. Uh, because, uh, let's see. This is a Global Farm Simulator account. All right, so um, we've dropped that, and uh, we know that we've got 120 because it's an even 60 on the load. So I just drove away without filling it up just because I like driving in circles. I'm not really awake yet. Yeah, maybe by lunchtime I'll wake up. I don't want to. <laughs> it's cold out there. I ain't touching nothing until it warms up. All right, so uh, let's see. I got to do math. 
I took 120, I need to get to 168. So I need 48, so let's start that filling. And we'll stop it as close as we can without being crazy. We don't have fill limiter, so watch the numbers. Up, 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 up. Yeah, I went to 49.667. If it goes over, hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> the error was in my favor, so I won't complain today. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Too sharp, Green. I need to get the steering wheel back. This steering with the keyboard is really, really hard. You could be like an, have an epileptic seizure to get the thing dumped there. Oh my god. You guys with Parkinson's will love this. You'll be right up your alley. If the rest of us need to get a damn steering wheel and some pedals, Logitech makes a good one. Actually works. If you wait like a half a year and watch the prices on Amazon, they'll go up and down by like 50 to 75 to even 100 bucks. I think I paid like 170 for mine. You wait long enough. You watch their screwy price algo. All right, we're almost done here with this export contract. That's it. Oh, well, and you're all through. Just leave the truck. Oh, yeah, you won't go up with the engine running, but you'll sure go down. Oh, hey, at least it's following the rules of science. Science is your friend. When not told to you by the media. <laughs> You want the real science? Pay attention. All right, so we are done. So what's left to do here? Well, this is the We Say So facility. Ooh, they're changing the purple trucks, and I hear they're getting new ones. I'm going to slow this right down. I'm moving too fast. All right, so let's go look this up now, and we'll see what you got. Um, you have to complete that contract. So we're going to hit F5 always to make sure we're still logged in. And uh, let's go look at our money first and stuff. Uh, still 242, uh, and I'm gonna get paid for this one. So complete it. That's it. Importing, uh, exporting from one server to another is done, and the process is complete. Now all that remains is for me to pick up my goods and bring them to the factory. So if I go back home, um, you can see that uh, we're good. I got paid for that, and there we are. I did both of my pieces, I got my money, I got paid by Logistica, and the money came out of my account, and it's gone uh, from my import. So we're done with that. Um, let's hop over to my factory. I left a truck right here. Oh, yes. Oh, so uh, here's my garage over at the refinery. Now it's just a matter of picking it up. Now I've got a couple of, I got this neat truck. It's got a tipper bed, so we're going to get this out of here. Go pick up my goods. I'll show you how to kind of complete the export, the import. We're going to pack this bed and we're going to grab that tipper body. Lights on for safety. I've got a tanker for this right over there, too. It wasn't a bad little pack, but then the autoloader stopped working when Giants did their update. I nearly cried, folks. I was like, so, so, so tear broken. Do I need to hose this? I better check. Oh, nothing going on there. All right, we're off. I like this little tipper body, though. Isn't this cool? Nice looking truck. All right, so. What's going on here? All right, so we're getting out of here. We're going to go pick up our stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, that wasn't a telephone pole. Ah, oh, cute. There we are. Oh, jeez, I fell out of the truck. Does anyone else do that, hitting the buttons? It's dreadful. Thank God I'm a fast runner. You gotta be to keep up with me. So on Wild West, it's 1 a.m. in the morning in April on this server. Gotta watch out, it's that time of night when the DOT likes to hide. Give you the breathalyzer test, right? 
Oh, we're going by Shady's? Ooh, Shady's got some nice stuff in there. What's he got? That, that looked like a cheap forage harvester? Oh, boy. If I had money. <laughs> Daddy needs money. Are right, we here at the import center. Give me my stuff. I'm going to open that back of the bed. There we are. My tipper body is open. Now, how do you pick up green? Well, it's not over there. It's over here. So let's hop here. Here's the pickup point. Remember we dumped it in that truck a minute ago? Well, hey, who put this tree right in the driveway? That's terrible. Oh, boy, I can't barely read this sign. Let me turn on my flashlight. Uh, it's the import center. Customs currents. Pick up imports here. Please do not block. That's what I'm doing. Uh, they call me the blocker for nothing. All right, so. Let's get our goods. And here we go. Picking up. Oh, I gotta come out here with a chainsaw and take those. Hey, how does that thing open? Oh, it must be Z, right? Yep, it sure is. So we're gonna hit R. And we're gonna look for our sugar. Oh, this sugar cane here, it's not mine. If that happens to you folks, that's someone else's undelivered stuff. Um, so we only want you to pick up what's yours. So 168 of this is mine. Do the best you can. Better to go a little bit under than take someone else's stuff, so. We're just going to pick up what belongs to us and uh, deliver it to our silo. Now, if you don't have your own vehicle, remember, you gotta you gotta rent them, or you gotta have something. There's free parking. Um, you can rent one at Shady's, uh, not Shady's, uh, at the rental center right up the road. Watch out for this tree. But Ossifer, it jumped into my lane. I know, right? All right, so we're hauling this back to the refinery. And we're going to turn this sugar, ironically, into gas with canola or something like that. But first, we have to get to the factory. So, uh, it's late at night. I always stop with both ways. Oh, crap. Oh, man, the boss ain't going to like that scratch. Holy gee. Hey, I am the boss. I'm watching. Oh, jeez, get out of there. Let me drive. Why don't you go get the wheel, Green? You're a terrible driver. Just step in the gas and shut up. <laughs> we gotta get this done. Oh my god, this video's dragged on and it's just an import. You guys can quit anytime. Oh boy. And here we are, we're back at the refinery. So here's the uh, export import cycle from Elm Creek, and here I am dumping it on my server. Oh, it's all Boy, good thing I didn't get a tall one. I can get out of here. Oh, don't lift too high, bed. We'll be in trouble. It looks like it's going to hit the ceiling. Hit I to stop it. And just like that, we've got our stuff here. So I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to hop out and go look and see what I've gotten here. So, uh, oh, let's go to production and make sure that I'm producing. Sawmill, sawmill, grape, grain, uh, fermenting, refinery. We sure are. So to make LPG, it takes canola and sugarcane, and that is active now. So we're producing, and we also get some pig food out of that. Um, our diesel line uh, is uh, not so active. It needs canola, but we're harvesting a whole field of that today on Hastings. So <clears throat> we'll be back in full swing here at the refinery, and good thing, too. we got to pay off some debt. And uh, we got to deliver this refinery oil over to, we're going to import this over to Ricky and sell it to the factories. Hee-haw. So we got to get this production rolling, baby. That's our show for today. How to do an import and uh, an export and an import to get your goods where you want them. Thanks for watching. Green Acres from GFSN. Join today, play tonight. Hope to see you around and stay tuned for our next instructional video on how to do the same thing but on a cross-play server. Have a great day, folks.